Hey Student Success, welcome to week four of our semester, which means after this week we are a quarter of the way done with the course already. So we are going to be jumping into the lessons area. As a quick reminder, the student workshop video assignment is here with its video, so it can walk you through exactly what to do in terms of where to find the list of available workshops, um, how to go about registering for them in Handshake, and then when you have attended the workshop, that is what you will send me is the like, certificate of completion or the email verification that you attended, not that you registered. Um, I've already actually had a few people attend workshops and send me those certificates. So please make sure I know you have until the end of the semester and it's only week four, but you really want to make sure that you're getting in there and registering for one and even a backup you know, have in mind. That's going to be very helpful. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down. So week four is a continuation of chapter four. So in terms of lecture videos, there's not going to be a new one. So what I'll do is I will just kind of copy the chapter four lecture that I have in the week three folders into the week four folders because it's the same chapter. So you're not going over a new chapter. You can see it's chapter four continued. There's only one assignment this week. There is no discussion forum for week four, which means attendance is going to be taken by you completing this one assignment by Sunday. So if you complete this assignment by Sunday, you get your attendance for week four. If you do not complete this, you get a zero for the assignment and then you get a zero for attendance. So just make sure that you complete that assignment. You know, materials folders, the links to chapter four in here again, if you need to review that information. All right, so let's jump into the assignment folder. This is going to be a document you're going to pull up. It is a Word document, so it's going to in this table here. This is all based on chapter four, which talks about like general study skills and things like that. So you can see listening, note taking, and memory. So you are going to fill out each of these columns for each of these areas. So listening. What are two things you could do to improve upon your listening? So do you think you could, in a lecture classroom, maybe sit closer to the teacher? Or could you remove distractions? You know, for note taking, can you try a specific method? Can you read the text beforehand? Memory. So again, you're coming up with two things for each of these areas that you could do to improve upon that particular area. When are you going to take that action? Are you going to start tomorrow? Are you going to start next semester? Are you going to start the next time you're inside a lecture classroom? Are you going to start when you listen to the next audio lecture? So when are you going to take that? And how do you know? How do you know that your listening has improved? How will you know your note taking has improved? And how will you know your memory has improved? Okay, so you want to make sure that you fill out each of those and you can go back into chapter four, the PowerPoint, the lecture video, the chapter itself, and look to see the suggestions because they do talk about suggestions for each of these areas in the chapter. So if you're stuck, you're like, I'm not sure, you can go back and take a look. Even if you feel like one of these areas is pretty good for you, there's always a little bit of room for improvement. So you can kind of find like a small tweak you can make. When you're done, you want to make sure you save this document so that you're not uploading a blank version, which has happened quite a bit um, in my other classes. They're, they're giving me blank copies of things. So make sure you save it. When you go back into Blackboard, you'll click right here where it says Chapter 4 Assignment. You're going to click Upload File, Browse Your Files, find it wherever it was that you saved it, right there, click on it, hit Open, and then hit Submit. It's not going to let me submit because I'm not a student, but that's the process that you'll go through. Okay, so a couple quick things. If you're on a Mac or a Chromebook, sometimes it's, it does not communicate well with Blackboard, I'll be honest. So you may end up having to take a, uh, a screenshot or you know download it and, and save it as a PDF and then upload it. So when you're in the gradebook area and you go to upload files, it should give you a preview. And if 